The Sorcerer's Apprentice Once there was a great sorcerer who knew everything there was to know about magic. He brewed potions that could make camels talk. He transformed pebbles into rubies and diamonds. This sorcerer had a wonderful hat. When he wore his hat, all he had to do was think magic and it would happen. But only the sorcerer knew the words that would make the magic stop. The sorcerer was very busy with his magic, so he needed a helper to sweep the floors, chop the wood, and carry water from the fountain to the vat. His helper's name was Mickey. Even though Mickey did not help with sorcery, he knew about the sorcerer's magic hat and dreamed of having a magic hat of his very own. One day, the sorcerer left the castle without his magic hat. Mickey tried to walk away, but the temptation was too great. Mickey looked longingly at the magic hat. Ever so slowly, he reached for it. Ever so gently, he took it off the table. Ever so carefully, he raised it into the air. Ever so proudly, he lowered it onto his head. Finally, he would be a sorcerer, too. Mickey saw an old broom leaning against the wall, and suddenly he knew what his first spell would be. Mickey did what the sorcerer always did. He pointed his finger straight at the broom, and the broom began to move. At once, the broom had two feet, then a right arm, and then a left arm. Mickey commanded the broom to pick up the buckets, walk up the stairs, and fill the buckets with water. At Mickey's command, the broom brought the buckets of water back and poured the water into the vat. Mickey danced around the room. He loved magic. He would never have to work again. Ordering the broom around had made Mickey tired. He sat down and fell sound asleep. As he slept in the sorcerer's chair, the broom kept working. Mickey dreamt he was the greatest sorcerer in the world. Something cold and wet woke Mickey up. Mickey looked around. There was water everywhere, and the broom kept bringing more. Mickey threw out his hands, commanding the broom to stop. But the broom did not stop. Mickey grabbed the buckets, but the broom held on tight. Wasn't there any way to stop the broom? Suddenly, Mickey spotted the axe he used to chop the sorcerer's wood. He grabbed the axe and chopped the broom into bits. Mickey relaxed. He was glad that was over. But it wasn't over. The bits of wood began to move. Each piece turned into a new broom. They all marched up the steps, never stopping. The brooms came down the steps with more water. Mickey didn't understand why the brooms wouldn't obey his order to stop. He was still wearing the magic hat. But the brooms still marched on. Brooms and brooms and more brooms, with buckets and buckets and more buckets. The vat was overflowing. The water was getting deeper and deeper. Just then, the Sorcerer's Book of Magic floated by. Mickey grabbed it and started looking for the magic words that would stop the brooms. As the water began to whirl, Mickey could no longer read the words. He hung onto the book as he started to spin faster and faster in the great whirlpool. Suddenly, the Sorcerer returned. He raised his arms, and instantly the water and the brooms disappeared, except for one. Mickey's old broom and buckets leaned against the wall. The sorcerer frowned down at Mickey. Mickey took off the sorcerer's hat and very carefully and ever so neatly gave the magic hat 
back to the sorcerer. Mickey smiled shyly at the sorcerer, but the sorcerer did not smile back. Mickey picked up his old broom and buckets and quickly ran off to do his work. He had learned his lesson. Never start something you don't know how to finish. The End